How's it going guys, this is Tom. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a tech question which was asked by Joe Newman and he asks, is iOS boring and what can they do to change it? And I'm actually going to talk about this uh, in kind of an uh, iOS 7 kind of way because that is most likely where we'll be seeing changes. It may be in iOS 8, which would probably be too late in my opinion, but hopefully it will be with iOS 7. And uh, first of all, I want to talk about widgets. So widgets are, as pretty much every Android user knows, widgets are kind of on your home screen. You can interact with them. You can uh, move them around. You can do little things uh, like tweeting and checking your tweets and checking your email without actually going into the applications. And that's a big thing which I think iOS needs. Hopefully, uh, they'll incorporate some sort of system like that. Another something is uh, system toggles, so things like brightness control, that kind of thing, directly from a toggle-based system like you have in Android 4.1 Jelly Bean when you can drag down from the top uh, and it will bring you to system toggles instead of the notification center. That is something that we need uh, in iOS because it's just a nightmare having to go through all of the settings panels uh, just to get to your brightness and then changing that accordingly. Another thing they need to do is allow developers access to do things outside of their applications because at the moment on iOS you have this one kind of app which is made by a developer and they can generally do what they want within that application. However, on Android and other more open platforms, you get the ability to uh, use your application and the developers can just kind of let go on their app and uh, it's a very bad way of explaining it, but they can do what they want with the operating system outside of their app. They don't have to be re restricted within an application. They can actually do things such as change the brightness on your screen or change your uh, skin, your interface, and that kind of thing. And I think that is a big thing that iOS needs because at the moment developers are kind of just uh, boxed into their one application and it's kind of restricting progress. Those are the main things I think we need uh, with iOS and Apple really have to kind of step up their game with their software. Their hardware's so good and their software is great as well. I don't think anyone's saying that it's bad because it doesn't, it just works. It's really great from that point of view. However, people like me and a lot of other people in the technology industry and technology world are getting very bored with it because you just have no control over your phone uh, or your device. So the, pretty much the biggest control you have is changing your wallpaper, which is just getting a bit ridiculous. So hopefully they'll make some of these changes in iOS 7, possibly worst case scenario, iOS 8, they'll change some of this kind of stuff. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm interested to hear what's your opinion on this subject, and I'm going to try and respond to everyone in the comments. I know that I might be able to not be able to do that, but I will try and make that a kind of uh, thing on my channel. I want to try and respond to as many comments as possible. Anyway, guys, I will catch you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.